the statistics, 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 the statistics said, the statistic. Hello again. Now today's video is very special for everyone, including you, the viewer. Because today's video is actually the thing I want to do on this channel. With that I mean the thing I want to do beside how to draw and other weird wacky drawing shit. It's a video about designing a character. Now this time the character I made was pretty specific and therefore it was very foreseeable how it's gonna turn out. Anyway, the thing I'm trying to say is this is the kind of video, the kind of content I would like to continue doing lots and lots more of. It's just that it takes quite a while to do. Explained in short, it's just me designing a character from, well, random prompts or comments that you leave or any other kind of wacky dumb shit I can find on the internet. This time around, I already knew much in advance what kind of character I wanted to do and I could think quite a lot about it. And the character that I made, it should be from the sci-fi genre because I absolutely like this genre the most. Okay, fantasy is nice and all, but sci-fi is where the cool stuff lies, therefore it's sci-fi themed. Now, the restrictions, or in other words, the descriptive words I gave myself were obviously spacey, like sci-fi themed, then a woman, a more or less human appearance, but not a organic human, something like a humanoid robot, and it should be some kind of creature at first that has been turned into this humanoid robot. And for the creature I just thought, hey, why not, uh, and took a spider. So it's basically a humanoid spider robot in space. Sounds awesome, right? Now that I'm saying it, I thought it turned out really, really cool. And now I just think it turned out pretty all right, because a humanoid spider robot in space sounds pretty damn awesome. And the design I came up with is okay at best. But hey, you can be the judge of that. So as you could already see in the background, I started with a more or less human torso shape. And since I wanted to make it into a robot, I really wanted to lean in into the sci-fi theme. So a robot that is like miles ahead of us. Something unimaginable with our technology. I took some inspiration from like art station and stuff. I just googled sci-fi and, you know, looked at the first couple of things that came up and I decided to make all of her limbs be like floating around her. Since she was a spider at first, she's obviously gonna have eight limbs, uh, six arms and two legs. But being a spider, having like eight eyes, it threw me quite a hurdle. I had no idea how to solve that problem because I didn't really want to just go in and say, oh yeah, you know what, she just has eight eyes on her face and like a regular human face. So I did what every human being would do and I just postponed it. I procrastinated with the face and the head until the very end, as you can see, because I thought, well, in the process of drawing, I surely will come up with something, right? And would you look at that? I did. I actually came up with two ideas. One being that she actually really just has a normal human organic looking face with, you know, like triangular features that just resemble a little bit of spider-esque physique. And I tried that out. But it just didn't work. I just didn't think, oh, on this kind of spacey body that just all robot Putting, putting a normal human face on there would just look pretty dumb and out of place. So I went deep inside my mind and came up with the idea of like just masks that can move around and mimic a face, but all around her head, four in total. 
So then she would have eight eyes again. And as I was doing that, I came up with the idea, oh, what if this thing is floating as well? I didn't make it floaty, but I'm still thinking it right now. What if her head was floaty and always turning around? Like it's always slowly just turning clockwise or counterclockwise, who knows? Wouldn't that be cool? Well, maybe next time. Because I'm probably gonna do quite a lot of these videos and I'm gonna have quite a lot more chances on a sci-fi woman character or man character that is turning heads, literally. Now, I kept the shape language fairly triangular. I wanted to have a few round elements in it because it shouldn't be like a villain character, more like a researcher. Someone that is with the good guys in the team, but not always on the front line. That's also why I decided to make her super streamlined. To make her as neat and clean as possible. To kind of like emphasize that this is not a kind of robot that is in any danger of getting like destroyed or damaged or anything like that. Because if you have something that surely doesn't get damaged, you can spend quite much more money and refinement on it. So it just becomes super, super good and well built. Because if there's no risk at all of it being damaged, then, you know, why would you be careful with funds and refinement? On the other hand, if you have something that is always like engaged in battle or on the front lines, it would be better to like make it more cost effective to have like more parts of it ready as is something that would be mass produced and doesn't like look super freaking finished anyway i hope you get the point i'm pretty bad at explaining so yeah let's hope this changes along with the quantity of videos i'll put out well anyway once the basic design was finished i thought hey wouldn't it be cool to have like some kind of action pose or like a perspective shot but it was already getting late and i i made the character i wanted to make like i can just make an action pose or whatever any way i want because now i know how it's gonna look i don't have to think about the design anymore i can just take it and draw it therefore i quit pretty much like a half an hour in or something after deleting almost 90% of what I drew just to draw over it again and then I quit. It was pretty freaking dumb, but you know, I'll, I'll just see it as practice because you know, you're, you're never perfect. Okay. Like you can always practice and my drawings are far from perfect. So if I get practice in every day with these things in drawing and design as well, Hey, that's just a win-win. And if I can make something that you enjoy hell that's just a win 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 okay and it's it's gonna be pretty ridiculous if i'm gonna say it out loud so i'll just say it's a four times win if you learn something as well now considering that about 99 percent have already clicked away i don't know why but that's what the statistic says i will thank Every single one that is still here, I hope you didn't hear me clap too loud because I just clapped my hands a little bit and I know my microphone picks up even the slightest noise. So there you go. The clap was for you and I wish every single one that is still here a very nice day of drawing and much improvement. And put some suggestions in the comments for a name and for another character, who knows? Maybe I'll take it. I'll probably take it because I'm not creative myself and I'm sure as hell gonna read it because there's not a lot of comments around here, let's be honest. Anyway, I hope you improve much, I hope you could learn a little bit. Happy drawing and until next time.